We're yeah. toasty, yeah. We got up to 90 yesterday, so we uh, checked that off another 90 degree day. We're actually going to see the low 90s later this afternoon in between two waves of storms. The first wave moving into the western side of the state now, and then it's this afternoon after about 3 o'clock. We are watching for the potential of some strong to severe storms, especially across the eastern tier of the state. Wanted to start with radar this morning. This is the past hour. We've got this loop going just to show you the general storm motion of this line that's been tracking through. We'll start where we see a lot of lightning in the National Weather Service is watching this storm cluster here moving through Monroe County down into portions of Davies, Martin and Knox counties. That's where we had the potential of even some penny sized tail under severe limits, but still packing a punch as it's tracking between Bloomington and Bedford. We'll head a little to the north where we've got some heavy rain, frequent lightning now tracking into Montgomery County, moving out of the Rockville area. Now Greencastle, you are on deck. And then as we continue a little farther to the north, places like Tippecanoe County, all the way up to Logansport, down to Lafayette, Delphi as well, seeing some of these heavier downpours passing through this zone here. We will continue to monitor live Doppler 13 radar, although as this storm line has moved in our direction, really haven't seen anything severe out of that, so that's good. Does have a history of producing a couple of warnings over the past six hours when it was in northern Illinois, but no new watches or warnings have been issued since. So that's some good news, but we'll continue to monitor that there. Here's our live camera up in Lafayette as we've been monitoring some heavy rain, frequent lightning on that. Let's talk about this afternoon, though. This first wave is going to move through. We will get some dry time in the late morning, early afternoon, and then these storms will start to fire up. So it really looks like along this I-69 corridor does include the Indianapolis Metro, Marion, Muncie, Newcastle, Richmond, and places off to the east. That's where those storms are set to bubble up later on this afternoon. So here we go for the next couple of hours. This initial morning wave of storms will continue, looks like, through about 9, 10 o'clock before essentially falling apart. Then we get into the warm sector of this weather system and all of those ingredients are coming together as the cold front moves in. So we will briefly rebound back to the low 90s and then these storms will start to fire up after 3 p.m. So that's going to be the time frame. We want you to stay weather aware this afternoon, 3 o'clock through about 8 p.m. The initial line of storms will start to bubble up. This is around 5 o'clock. So from Muncie down to Shelbyville and the places to the east. So keep in mind for today, with these initial storms that pop up, could see some rotating storms, could get a couple tornado warnings out of this. Also large hail with all of that energy in the atmosphere available. Large hail, damaging wind gusts, all modes of severe weather possible for today. This line will continue to march to the east along that frontal boundary. So through about 6, 7 o'clock, still impacting the eastern half of the state before eventually exiting between 8 and 9 p.m. And then that severe threat's going to come to an end as we get closer to sunset. We're going to be in the clear at that point. So it is looking like it will be an active afternoon. Want everybody to be prepared for that. Another round of some wraparound moisture tomorrow as temperatures will be uh, cooler on the backside of the storm system with scattered rain highs near 80 for your Monday and then even cooler as we get into Tuesday with a stray shower possible there. That'll be the coolest of the week. Temperatures will quickly rebound behind that 82 and sunny on Wednesday and then we're back in the low 90s starting on Thursday.